Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to teach you exactly how to live by faith in God and not by sight. Oh, I guess I have to live blind since I have faith in God. Oh no. No, just don't live off these. Let's begin. I'm going to start off with saying a lot of Christians use faith and sight and combine the two. We live by faith, not sight, which is the scripture in 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith and not by sight. But we think in the head too much to combine the two so that our faith matches what our eyes tell us, but that will never cling together. Similar to how if we're praying for somebody that has a broken leg, right? Our eyes see a broken leg, but we see in faith that it's a healed leg because God paid for it. Your eyes see one thing, but your faith sees another. So when you try to pray for somebody, but your eyes are just seeing a broken leg, and then you're kind of gonna question it. Is it gonna work? Because you just see a broken leg. But by faith, you know God's gonna heal this. We see in faith a brand new leg that that bone is not even broken, but we're thanking God for fixing that broken leg. Your sight is to your brain. Faith is from your heart. So those just don't cling because your sight will mess you up. Your sight sees out here. Your faith sees what's gonna happen. It's like almost seeing the future. You pray for your finances and you thank God for your finances. Your eyes see that you're poor, but your heart and your faith in God shows that you'll be just fine and you don't have to worry about money. It's like we live by experiences. So it's similar to in a way of if I were to pray for something like healing. Healing is something God has given us, the ability to heal with faith. But we go off by experience. We know we can heal by faith and also because people have done it before. And it's just like in normal life. When somebody first succeeds in something, you now know it's possible because somebody already did it. That it's now manageable. Like the first person to ever make $5 million. Once that person made $5 million, that means you know it's possible to make $5 million or more because somebody did it already. And God asked me a good question a few days ago, and it was, why do we have to see someone's success to know something is possible? Meaning, why not do something different? Something only a God can do, which healing is very common, which he, people heal people all the time, every single day. And that's amazing. And there's more things you can do, but we limit on what we can do by what our eyes tell us and what our brain says from that. There is no limit with God's power, but there is limit with what you believe God can do. There is no, the sky is the limit, which is nothing. We need to not go by what other people have succeeded in or other experiences that you've had, but go by faith that you know God can do this for the first time no one has ever done this before. The Bible says that you will do what Jesus did and more. Jesus healed people and there's more things you can do, but we're kind of just, we created a little bubble of just doing these things that we've seen Jesus do. And we kind of just stay in this category because it's just very, uh, very, comfortable in here because we know we can do this we know we can heal because there's other christians that do it already we know that we can do all these other things that people do people do it there's so much you can do with faith it's all there's so much you can do but why do we just stay in this little bubble because your people are afraid to do new things or afraid to fail there's no failure with faith if you just know that you have faith in what you believe in, you can't fail, it's impossible. And if you don't know how to have faith in prayer, here's a video that teaches you how to activate faith in less than two minutes. We live off of someone else's experience, but why not all of God? Forget this world, forget the limit the world has on you. That's what the world does, it limits on what you can do. But God, anything is possible. There's a reason why it's in there. Anything is possible with God. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. Let your faith match what your eyes see. Life is so different without God that the person that's, that views the world without God is completely different from a person that loves the Lord so much. They have two different perspectives over the exact same place because this person is living off of faith. 
that is their their fuel their their fuel is to love god so much and just be embedded with that the other people are just taking satisfaction from what this world has which is not much at all barely anything next it's nothing nothing at all so they're viewing it the way other people view, people view it faith is a beautiful thing if used right you can't pray without faith or else it's just words let's say you're driving and you're on on empty and you're it's about to just break down because you have no gas your eyes see that it's empty right but if you have faith that you'll make it to the gas station on time you will make it on time that's faith not by sight of seeing the e but faith in God that he's gonna get you there. View the world differently. Look at it the way Jesus would look at it, rather than the way we look at it by uh, the way we were grown up. And we're grown up in this world, but we are not of this world, but we just adapt to what we see, what other people do. We see what our parents do. That's the, what, you know, when you're growing up, you see what your parents do and you go off of that. And then you go to school and you see what kids do and you kind of follow that, then you find God and it's a whole other pathway. It's more open, you see every opportunity, you see every single thing. There's nothing that can stop me from doing new things. I'm not gonna just do the same things other Christians do, but I'm gonna do more things, because God says I can. So if you guys have a goal, don't have a goal from someone else's success and then to beat that goal, but have a goal only a God can do. That is gonna blow your mind, seriously. It's gonna knock that other goal out of the park. If you just have faith in God that he will get you where you're, where you're wanting to go. He sees your heart, he sees your, how humble you are and how much you want that. He looks in your heart and he sees how much you love him. You're on your way. You can accomplish anything with God. You love him so much and that's all you care about. You don't even care about money, you don't care about anything at all. The only reason why you're alive in this world is to love God and spread God. I wanted a million dollars before I die and now I don't even care. You just notice of how much God fills that empty space that you just don't feel like it would, nothing would ever fill that. That money would fill it or these nice things or whatever would fill this empty black space that you want in the future. But if you just have God now, it just, it's its so, it just doesn't, it's so, and that he's just, he takes over that black space, fills him up with peace, love, happiness, joy, and, and then you're off. And if you want to pursue something, he'll get you there. He loves you so much. He, he doesn't want you to be poor. There's nothing wrong with money if you use it wisely and you're so humble with that money that you don't just live off this money. But... This is God's money. This is where I want this money to go. He wants me to get this house and do this and go to these places. And it's, it's, there's so much you can do with God. But if we just live by our faith in God, there is nothing that you can't do. Your eyes are of this world. And I tried an experiment not too long ago, about two to three days ago, being in the dark for 24 hours. But I did this experiment because he told me to make do this experiment. So then, so he told me to do this and I won't explain what it was for, but everything I said in this video is what he said in the dark. And what I was, what it was, it was like living by faith, not sight. I couldn't see for 24 hours. I was in this room, pitch black. You can't go off of your sight since you're blind and you're going off of just faith and talking to God and just doing a lot with him. And there's nothing you can't do because your eyes aren't there to mess with you, to deceive you that you can't do something. I mean, you guys are so awesome and I want you guys to get the full extent of what God can do in your life. And I'm not talking about success. I'm not talking about to get a lot of money. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about being the person you were meant to be, the person that God created you to be, because you will be so mind blown of how much of a difference it is in your life. And it's a, it's a 180 of being the person that you were uh, a year ago, or even a week ago, a day ago, on how much of a difference it is from without and with God. This isn't some religious stuff. This is truth. This is love. So you can live the life 
that you want to live. And if you're in this world, you may think that this is the life that you're supposed to live because you're smiling and happy. But you most likely have an empty space and that empty space is God. You will always have a sense of loneliness because that's a space where God is supposed to be. It'll always be there no matter how many friends you have. And speaking from my point of view, I have no friends, right? I don't have any friends. I have some people at work that I talk to that are pretty cool and family. Other than that, that's about it. I'm always with God all the time and he's my best friend and he takes that space that empty space that you feel like you can never get out. My view of this world is completely different than it used to be a year ago or two years ago, I believe. Be sure you don't combine faith and sight together. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy it, then go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more life-changing videos just like this one. And I was just saying to be the real you, the person God created you to be. This video right here teaches you exactly how to do that on how to be the person you were born to be. So click that video and it'll do so much in your life. I promise you that. And I'll go ahead and let you guys go for now. And I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Messenger out.